Yeah, we can't get enough of them. I can't a... get enough of these laser swords. This one is made by Hasbro. It's got a bunch of different features. And one feature on this saber, Hasbro has never made with any of their other lightsabers. So don't go anywhere. Come hang out with us. Yeah, come hang out with us! If you like deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. That's how you start a video. Yeah. How to dust off those moves. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for clicking on our video. This is Landon Sidious. And this is Obi Dad Kenobi. If you're a subscriber, what do we say? Thank you guys, you rock. Yes, you do. And if you're new here, don't be scared. We're a couple of really awesome guys. We make videos about anything. <laughs> okay, one, two. Anything Star Wars, feel free to click that subscribe button. We really appreciate the support. Boom! There it is. Man, we've been waiting nine months for this thing. How many dark sabers have we reviewed, bud? Uh, hmm. Hmm. This two. is number four. <laughs> four dark sabers. Let's take a look at the box real quick, huh? What fancy shiny box this is. Look at that. Force Effects Elite. Got the Mandalorian. Ooh, Moff Gideon, how does he look to you, bud? He looks kind of angry. He looks like somebody peed in his Cheerios. <laughs> Boy, he looks mad. Oh, let's flip it to the back. Whoa. Ooh, oh, we got light up like. chambers. I see a stand. All right, let's just dig right into this. Are you yes. guys ready? Look, I don't know if unboxings are still a thing. Are they a thing? Do you know if they're a thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, if you guys want to see it, here it comes. There you go, there was your unboxing. Let's check out the design of this Darksaber. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. boom! Yeah, it's the nice. Darksaber by Force Effects Hasbro. Nice. Boom, totally modeled off the Mandalorian, not the Clone Wars. What do you think of it? Take a look at it. Whoa. How does it feel? It feels great, <laughs> kind of heavy. That's my first thought too is, Dang, this thing is heavy. Even though it's so swat, so heavy. I don't want to make too many of you guys blush out there, but the first word that comes to mind is girth. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, this thing is a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Just real large in circumference, but heavy. I'm gonna weigh it and put the weight right down here below. The speaker is right next to our hand. We might yeah, plug it on that, accident. That's a really good observation, dude. The speaker, I mean, there's a big old speaker port. They really want you to hear this thing. And it's right here on the side. So yeah, if you're like having fun, although, I mean, yeah, your fingers, look, my hand and fingers could totally cover it up. So you kind of have to hold it like, like this so that you can kind of see and let the, the sound come out. You want to get too ex too excited, it's going to go. <laughs> you're not going to hear it, right? <laughs> we'll start from the top. This totally threw me off. And all the advertisements and everything. Whoa. Hey, you know what? You guys are looking a little low. Let's boost you up here. Are you guys ready? We're going to boost you yeah. up. Hold that. Yeah. 
Hey, there you guys are. I level. That's where I like you. Yeah. So look at this, bud. When I saw this in the advertisements, I thought the blade just goes kachunk, and that that's it. And I <laughs> and I thought that's going to be real wobbly, you know. Um, but I, and I don't remember seeing this coming out of the dark saber. Do you remember seeing this gray thing protruding out of the emitter? Do you remember seeing that ever? I don't. But we'll take it apart here in just a minute. It's a real pain in the tuchus, let me tell you. And that's because he's a kid and a real pain kiss. In the I would use some dirty Star Wars words. The emitter, feel that super smooth and shiny, yeah. right? You can feel all the edges. cool details. Okay. This is called the guard when it comes to sabers and swords and stuff to kind of protect your hand from like slashes like that. Smudge. Fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> and uh, all the windows, <laughs> which Keep accidentally pressing, totally light up. Hey, all the windows light up, gotta have that. So how does a grip feel? Mm, it kind of feels hard. It, it has a rough feeling to it, yeah. not too rough. Yeah, it does rough, a little rough. Not sandpaper, but just shy of sandpaper. It's a nice rough grip, so like it, it, your hand wants to stick to it, you know? That's yeah, cool. This looks like it's gonna match Footage. the saber from the Mandalorian, like spot on. Looks like everything's in order. We got the vertical, the horizontal stripes down below. Kind of two different grips for two hands. We've got oh, yeah, I saw that. two big silver, not attractive Allen wrench on both sides. Not even, there's even like a, a pretty side. You get these big silver things that stick out and don't look like they're in place. This is how you undo the whole upper half. We'll show you in a minute. And then down below, when you undo this, it, uh, the bottom part comes out and your rechargeable battery comes out. Well, it's down here. But they couldn't, I'm, I'm sure with a little bit of paint, if you if you have time on your hands, some of you young guys you do, you could just paint that up black, no one will ever know. But you know, black on metal, like you gotta do it just the right way or it's gonna chip all off, look, look kinda cruddy. I don't know. And then the, the main button, we've got two buttons. The main one is silver, that's for the effects, but at least the power button is black. Oh, right. that's how This is the first time Hasbro's ever had a rechargeable battery with a lightsaber. No more double A's, dude. Yeah. Oh, snap. So we gotta like really swing this thing around and see how long we can get out of the battery I light. But, last time. Uh, no, so. Let's get the blade in here. So this is how you do it, all right? Okay, now let's begin the long, tedious process of putting a blade in your saber, okay? Take your Allen wrench. Now there's two sides of this like silver bolt thing here. One of them doesn't work. Don't try to put it in there like I did because if you're just gonna strip it and it's gonna look ugly. Uh, this one is the side you wanna put it in, okay? And you're gonna turn and turn and turn. You have to unscrew it from this, like from the, this side, slide it out, and then you have to apply some pressure to unscrew it again I like I want to sit down for this. A little bit quicker, not take too uh, long. I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, finally. Son of a moof milker. Oh, the Star Wars swearing started. I'm sorry. This whole, ta-da, shiny mechanism. Will you hold that, my assistant, please? Okay, and this confusing chunky silver thing comes out. What? And then we put in our blade. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Sharp, sleek. <laughs> so it's LED, there's a strip. I think it actually, check this out, I think it looks like the strip is going up one side all the way to the sharp tip and all the way back down the other side. Can only go in one way. Boom, there's your blade. All right, let's put this back over the blade. That's a taste And now we have to put the scroll back in again. <laughs> and now we put it back in. You like playing with your friends? Guys, wait up, I know, I'm sorry this is taking a long time. <laughs> <sighs> we did it, we got it in. Yay. And the price going right now for this retails $265. <sighs> this is like the most expensive Hasbro Saber I think that they've made. And uh, you know, you gotta catch it in the sweet spot. Not right when they release, not when they're retired, but they'll go on sale maybe this Christmas. Can you tell them what would really help out our channel? Click on the link and buy one of these lightsabers. If you wanna, <laughs> we have an Amazon link. Really helps out our channel. Same price, same shipping. 
We'd appreciate it. Can I turn it on? No. Can I turn it on? I Can always I turn it on? Turn it on. All right, all right. Ready, guys? Let's power it up. Hey, magical. Let's swing it around a little bit. Let's hear the swing sounds. Hey, not smooth swing, guys, but very good sensitivity. It doesn't to some Very good swing sensitivity, right, dude? Yeah. That's really good. I think Hasbro's getting their, their mojo back, guys. I think so. All right, why don't you show us some clash effects? Yeah, those are action packed, huh? I, I like the clash effects, this is awesome. It it's not just like a little tink tink, I mean. There's some serious like, action going like, on there. He's like swapping through walls and stuff. Cool, all right. How about Blast Reflect, dude? I feel like I may have heard those Blast Reflect sounds before. We'll have to show you in the dark that seeing the Blast Reflect can be pretty tricky during the day with any kind of lights on. You see, see it? Hard to see during the day. Show us the lava effect, dude. Oh, I see yellow, some red, it's a... and it's like kind of just confined to just the very tip of the blade here. So you can pretend like you're cutting through something or it's dragging on the ground. Man. There you go. It's like a yellow Yeah. In the middle of the, of the drag, it's... It gets like really quiet, kind of hard to hear, you know? All right, dude, so what do you think of the overall sound effects of the Sabre? Mm, I think I kind of like it. I think they sound very much like the Mandalorian series. I think they nailed it. We're so spoiled with all our NeoPixel Sabres that are crazy loud, a little on the quiet side. But hey, if you're just like enjoying it in a quiet room and stuff, you're gonna hear it fine. You may not hear it very much outside, right? All right guys, so let's just go over one more time all the pros and cons to this really big investment of a lightsaber, okay? Because I didn't number all the pros and cons because I really didn't want to have to explain why I didn't put them in any kind of order of importance. So starting with the pros, the string LED blade is really cool. It's bright, even though the blast deflect and the lava effect are a little subtle. Um, the overall having the, the lights go outside the blade is for like, has a pretty good brightness to it. Um, it does come with a stand, so that's definitely a plus for because uh, the Sabre might be on display quite a bit more than uh, you actually get to spend time with it, right? Um, it has a very accurate design to the show, The Mandalorian. Of course, some small changes, but overall, the majority of it is very close to the prop used in the show. I was super surprised that the swing sensitivity is really good. And again, it's not smooth swing, but it still impressed me tons better than some of the previous elite models with the removable blade. The clash sounds and the hum were definitely very accurate to the Mandalorian show as well. You definitely get a plus for that. And also Hasbro's first rechargeable battery with a lightsaber. That's a really big deal. Should save you some money and not always have to be fumbling for more AA batteries. Okay, so what made it to our cons list? First of all, the price. That these sabers are becoming more and more expensive and I think this is retailing uh, when it was released at $265. Now, another thing that we didn't really appreciate is that the speaker is right there on the grip and can be easily covered up with your thumb or your fingers and uh, all of a sudden the sound is gone. You know, which brings me to a third point, which is the sound is already quiet. The, the sound, you know, the sound effects are accurate, but it's already a quiet sound. So you put a finger over the speaker and now you can't hear anything. So it would have been a better design if they could have somehow put the speaker either way up or in the higher part of the hilt or the lower part of the hilt where you're not always grabbing with your hand, right? Putting on the blade takes forever. You're not gonna wanna do it again for a long time. So that's kind of a burden, um, much easier with different models. 
so that made the cons list. But after you've designed this sleek, black, accurate dark saber, to tack some of these bright silver screws on the front, on the top and the bottom of the saber, really is not just my favorite part. It's a, it's a, the detail kind of sticks out and it makes it scream like a toy and takes away from more of the replica feel from it. And uh, I think painting it would probably be a pain in the butt for most people who aren't used to painting lightsabers. So kind of a downer, had to be one of the cons. And last but not least, you know, the light doesn't really flicker at all, as we showed in the dark up against the wall there. Zero flickering, there was flickering with Clash, and uh, maybe even Blaster Deflect, but no flicker at all, kind of a downer, but that is our list of pros and cons from our total review of this, of the Hasbro Force FX Elite Darksaber. And that is the summary of our whole lightsaber review, dude. Way to go, good job. Another one bites the dust. And please let us know in the comments what you guys think about this. Hey, and so thanks for watching, guys. You make sure to have an awesome Star Wars Day. See you next time. All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. May the force be with you.